I encourage you to always be curious, always seek out things you love, and always work hard once you find them. The future is very bright for this team, more than some people realize. The Memphis Grizzlies are one of many young teams in this league we look at and recognize their potential. They go under the radar sometimes because they're not as flashy and exciting to think about as other teams are. However, the Memphis Grizzlies aren't just another young team on the rise like the Minnesota Timberwolves were years ago or how we viewed the Chicago Bulls or Sacramento Kings the past several years seeing their young core or even right now in comparison to another young team we believe has a bright future in the New Orleans Pelicans. The Memphis Grizzlies stand out from this group and has a multitude of guys with great potential that we just don't even notice because they are in no man's land down in Memphis. But this team, for what they are doing at such a young age, is beyond what we've seen out of any other young teams in this league right now in the past several years. The future is very bright for Memphis, and sooner than later, they will dominate the league. First things first, we should recognize the Memphis Grizzlies are officially the youngest team in the NBA after Gorgie Dion buyout with the team, with the average age of this team being only 23.7 years of age. Which to emphasize just how young that is, the youngest team in the NBA history was the 2005-2006 Atlanta Hawks, of which was an average age of 22.7, which isn't far off what the Grizzlies are right now. However, the difference is the Atlanta Hawks team for that season won 26 and 56. This Memphis Grizzlies team right now is 32 and 32 in the Tough West, holding on to the eighth seed. And last year, if not for that playing tournament, would have been the eighth seed as well, making the playoffs. In fact, if you take a look at previous years of teams within this youth range, no team has been this good at the age and experience level of this Memphis Grizzlies team. Dating all the way back to 2013, the only teams close to the Grizzlies age range that made the playoffs was the 2017 Boston Celtics, of which had an all-star in Kyrie and Gordon Hayward, as well as 2016-2017 Thunder, of which is the year Westbrook went crazy with the triple doubles, lifting that team up. The Memphis Grizzlies do not have any of that yet are still competing and winning games at a rate no other young team has. And I can't emphasize this enough, they are doing it in the tough Western Conference in which there are no days off unless, of course, you're playing the Timberwolves. So why are they able to produce like this so young? Well, it's about time we put some light on the Memphis roster. Going down the roster, John Moran is the only player averaging 30 plus minutes, while there are 12 guys on this team averaging 15 plus, making this the only team to play this many players that high minutes with only one guy past 30 plus minutes. Meaning this team runs deep in the bench and can rely on a multitude of guys to get the job done. So looking at this roster, of course you have John Morant, 20 years old, averaging 19 points, 7 assists, shooting 45% from the field, coming off an injury. Brandon Clark, 24 years old, averaging 10 and 5 rebounds off the bench. Jaron Jackson, 21 years old, off an injury, but when healthy, averaged 17 last year, shooting 39% from 3. Grayson Allen, 25 years old, who has found a home here in Memphis, averaging 11 points and shoots 39% from the 3 off the bench. One of the most underrated players from this team, Dylan Brooks, who is 25 years old, averaging 17 points. And some other notorious young guys you might not have heard of, De'Anthony Melton, only 22 years old, averaging 9 points per game in just 20 minutes off the bench, shooting the 3 at 42%, as well as Xavier Tillman, who is 22 years old as well, averaging 6 points in his 18 minutes off the bench. This team's young core is first not only just much younger than any other young core in the league, they are learning to win games and compete against the best teams in the league so early on. They play so well as a team, especially for the fact that Ja is the only guy averaging 30 plus minutes. The starters for this team aren't even being pushed to play high volume minutes as they can rely on the bench of young guys to keep the momentum going. No other team in the league can do that. Grayson Allen is finding his way in this league after taking on a bad rep coming into the NBA. He is now becoming a valuable piece for this team. Brandon Clark coming off the bench is giving you what some starters don't. 10 points with 5 rebounds and although hasn't taken that next step from his rookie year, shows flashes of potential that he can not just be a good player in this league, but a great one. Dylan Brooks, of which I mentioned is the most underrated piece of this team, is improving each season in his 4 year career and is still only 25 years old. 
If this Memphis Grizzlies team does dominate in the nearby future, Brooks will be one of the centerpieces of that team without a doubt. And the two cornerstone pieces that need to take off in order for the team to excel in the future, Jaron Jackson Jr. and John Moran. Both of these players are extremely athletic, talented, and if they put in the work, they have no ceiling. They could be one of the next best NBA guard and big duos. And let me remind you, again, Ja is only 20 years old while Jaron Jackson is 21. Although both players have dealt with coming back from an injury this season, when these two are on the court together, any defense is in trouble and it's hard to contain the speedy, athletic, strong, and versatile duo. The Memphis Grizzlies have a group of special guys whose names may not ring bells and sound exciting, but they produce wins at a rate no other young team has done and are once again competing for a playoff spot of which they currently sit in. The guys on this team have potential to one day grow as a great unit with Jaron Jackson and John Morant leading the charge. And if this duo does reach that potential we have in them, the NBA is in trouble. The Memphis Grizzlies sooner than later will take over the league when it's all said and done. In the comments let me know what you guys think about this. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and I'll see you guys later.